Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today is Monday, May 7th and I'm going to finally start doing more reading vlogs. I took my last finals of the semester last Thursday which means that I have officially finished my junior year of college and I'm now on summer break so I'm really excited to start doing more reading and bookish vlogs. Over the weekend I actually started a project with a couple of my old bookshelves so I'm going to insert some clips from this past weekend into this video right now. Right now I'm currently in the process of getting ready to film a video. I'm actually currently listening to the audiobook American Panda by Gloria Chow. I'm currently on chapter 9 which is in part 3 of 7 and so whenever I get ready I always try to listen to an audiobook while getting ready. I just finished filming and I filmed an April wrap up. These are some of the books that I read so if you want to hear my thoughts on them then definitely check out my April wrap up. I have my SD card right here. I'm about to upload the footage to my computer and begin editing soon. Hi everyone! Now that it's summer, I have been wanting to rearrange my room for a while now. So today is going to be the start of that process. What I want to do is that you see this brown bookshelf over here? I want to paint this bookshelf white so that it matches my white one. I'm going to take you off my tripod and show you a closer look of what I want to do with my room. So this is kind of the state of my room. My bed is on this side, my two bookshelves are on this side. For some reason, this wall pushes in like a foot deeper than this wall, which is really strange. I don't know why it's like that. But what I want to do is that I want to paint this brown bookshelf white and then move both of these bookshelves so that they're against this wall, this entire empty white wall. There's nothing on this wall, so it's so boring to look at when I wake up. And then what I want to do is that I want to move this bed with the headboard against this wall. The very first step that I have to do is that I have to take off all of these books on the shelf so that I can start painting it white and I'm going to do a quick time lapse of that. And while I do this, I'm going to continue listening to my audiobook of American Panda. And responded to his apology. Currently all of my books are on this side of the room and some on my bed, but this bookshelf is completely empty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking this off, it's like removable, and start painting these shelves white and I need to figure out how to move this bookshelf so that I can paint the sides white. I'm actually going to take a break from my audiobook and I'm going to go watch some Once Upon a Time because I am very behind on the very last season so I'm going to catch up on that. So it's a lot later now, it's about 6 p.m. and I've been working on painting my bookshelves for definitely a few hours. I spent a long time doing it and I'm not even done with the first shelf. So painting this bookshelf has been a complete mess. First off, I don't know why this is happening, but there, every time I'm painting over something, all these like little tiny holes, I don't know why this is happening. I'm definitely putting more than one coat, but this still happens. This one looks a little bit better. It, looks pretty nice until you get to the top because the roller can't reach the top really well. But then I started doing the masking thing and as I'm peeling off the tape, it starts peeling off the paint. So unfortunately this has been a mess so far but I started painting the actual shelves and they're looking pretty okay. But yeah, I have a bunch on the floor here. My room is pretty much a mess right now. I'm a terrible painter. I'm like about to give up on this but I'm gonna keep doing it because I already put so many hours into doing this. I'm just gonna take a break for today because I need to work on a video that I'm posting tomorrow. I just need to close caption it. Um, but I'll take you there to my desk right now. I'm talking about Immortal Rain and I'm closed captioning so that it can go up tomorrow. I've spent the entire weekend just painting one bookshelf. I thought that I would be able to finish both bookshelves over the weekend. I put multiple coats on this bookshelf and it was looking really bad and I was really close to giving up on painting these bookshelves and then I decided to just put on more coats on it. I'm really not a painter. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the proper painting etiquette is but my bookshelf is starting to look pretty decent. I've been using a roller and obviously the roller doesn't get all the way to the edges very well so like the top everywhere pretty much is uneven. Right now the bookshelf looks 
okay. It's definitely not the best, but it definitely looked so much better than it did on Saturday night. Also, I posted a new video yesterday. It's my spring book haul. This is actually the first book haul that I've posted since the end of August 2017. So go check it out if you haven't seen it already. It's about 10.50 a.m. right now. I'm about to continue painting my bookshelves and I'm almost done with American Panda. I'm on part 7 of 7 and I have 13 minutes and 40 seconds left. So I'm going to finish this audiobook while I'm painting. So it's a lot later. It's actually currently 9.04 p.m. Around 1 o'clock I actually went out to spend some time with my cousin and so I spent most of the day with my cousin which means that I didn't get any reading done today. I did finish American Panda but now I'm finally going to start a book. I'm going to try to read before going to bed because I have I haven't been doing that for the past week because last week was finals. Now I'm going to be picking up Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a book that I've been wanting to read since it came out and I'm so excited to finally start it. This is a mystery thriller book and I'm definitely in the mood for that so I'm going to start this book tonight and we'll see how far I can get into it. So this book takes place at a private school and there's actually a map of the academy on this page right here and that's so cool. Hi everyone, it is the next day, so it is Tuesday, May 8th. I'm actually going to work today. I'm working from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., so I won't get a lot of reading done during most of the day, but on my commute to work and then my commute back home, I will definitely get some reading done. I honestly did not get a lot of reading done last night. I read like 14 pages of Truly Devious, and then I gave up and started watching YouTube videos and going on Twitter. Not my proudest moments, but I am ready to finally begin doing more reading. This weekend, I just didn't feel like reading very much because I was just done with school and there was TV shows that I wanted to catch up, booktube videos that I wanted to catch up on, and I also had a lot of editing to do for videos because prior to the video that I posted on Sunday, I haven't posted in two weeks. Now that the semester is over, I'm trying to plan out videos that I want to film throughout the summer. So it's now many hours later and it's currently 6 40 p.m. I pretty much just got home. I still have a lot of things to do before I start reading again but just to give a quick update about where I'm at with Truly Devious, I'm currently 100 pages into the book. I'm not as far as I want it to be but I definitely will be doing some reading before I go to bed tonight but for now I'm going to try to do a quick workout because I have not worked out in a long time. So I'm attempting to put it in the shelf and this is happening. The paint is peeling off and I hate myself right now. All this hard work and I don't know what to do anymore. During the weekend I was really close to giving up but then I kept going. Because I've used so many coats I can't put the shelves back on the bookshelf without you know kind of shoving it in. This bookshelf project has been a complete fail, a complete disaster, and it did not turn out the way that I expected it to. So yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to continue painting it until the weekend. I still have this shelf that's still not fully painted. I am mostly done painting this one. There's still like the sides that I need to paint right here and then the bottom right there. So I decided to put all these shelves back on the bookshelf and it doesn't look too bad. Most of the scraping are on the top shelf, but I'm pretty sure that once all the books are back on the shelf, you can't notice it very well. I made it successfully on the second shelf without any peeling and once I got to the last one there's a little bit right here but on this side it's all good. So I think I'm just gonna leave the shelf as it is. I might try to do some touch up right here. From a distance it doesn't look that bad so I think I am going to go ahead and continue painting my second shelf white. I just won't get to it till this weekend. It's about 9 47 right now and I'm going to continue reading Truly Devious before I go to bed. Hi everyone, it is now the next day. I'm waiting at the bus stop to head to work. I work at 10 a.m. and it's currently about 9.05 a.m. I only read like 30 pages last night, so I didn't get through a lot in the book, but I definitely plan on reading while I'm commuting to work. Hi everyone, it's now about 7.30 p.m. I actually got home at 7 p.m. I had an unexpected meeting at 5.30, so I got home a lot later than I intended to, 
but as a quick update about where I'm at with Truly Devious, I'm currently on page 237, so I did get through about 100 pages so far today. I'm currently on chapter 17, and that's about like halfway through the book. I just realized that I never talked about what Truly Devious is about, but Truly Devious basically takes place at this boarding school called Ellingham Academy. In 1936, the wife and daughter of the founder of the school was actually kidnapped, and the case remained unsolved. So the story takes place about 80 years later following our main character Stevie who is a true crime aficionado and she is determined to solve this Ellingham case. This book does switch between the past and the present and I was enjoying the past chapters a lot more because there was a lot more happening and there wasn't a lot going on in the present chapters for a good chunk of the book but the story is finally starting to pick up and I look forward to seeing where it goes. It is now Thursday morning. I'm going to be leaving my house in about 20-30 minutes because I do have to work today as well but I don't have plans after work. I plan on just going straight home. I get off work at 4 so I should be home around 5 p.m. I didn't update you all before I went to bed but I've read about 50 pages last night. I'm currently on page 290 which is chapter 21. That's pretty much it. I don't really have anything new to add about my thoughts on this book and I haven't started a new audiobook yet. I usually switch between listening to an audiobook and reading a physical book and since I finished American Panda I just haven't had the time to look for a new audiobook so I'm going to try to do that before I head to work. So I think I'm going to pick up Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. I don't really remember what it's about. I'm going to borrow that and listen to it later today. It's currently 5 20 p.m. I got home like five minutes ago and I'm immediately in my dad's car because I'm going to be going somewhere. I was originally going to go see a movie with my friend on either Friday or Saturday night but she texted me earlier today saying that she would rather go tonight so that's what I'm doing. But as an update about Truly Devious, I actually finished the book on the bus home. I finished the book like 10 minutes ago so I'm still processing everything that happened at the end. Overall, I did enjoy it. I think I would rate it a 4 out of 5 stars and I definitely look forward to reading the next book because this is not a standalone. I I don't know how many books are going to be in the series but I definitely look forward to reading the next one. Hey everyone, it is now Friday and it's currently about 4:10 p.m. I pretty much just got home. I recently got a second job and so today was the start of training for that job. So I left my house around 8 a.m. and I just got back. Last night I didn't give an update. Originally, me and my friend were going to go see a movie because we both got the movie pass, but we didn't realize that the theater we went to doesn't do e-ticketing, and we are still waiting for our actual movie pass to come in the mail. So unfortunately, the movie plans fell through and we didn't go see a movie. So instead, my friend and I went to the sushi buffet and we ate a lot of sushi. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I didn't do any reading later that night. So after my training today, I actually made a pit stop by the library, and I checked out a few books. I originally went to the library because I had a few holds come in. Two of the holds I'm not going to show because I'm saving it for a video. So in total I checked out five books but I'm going to show three of the books that I got. The first one is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. This book came in at a perfect timing because I just finished Truly Devious so I'm going to be picking up this book next. And I also picked up Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. I really don't know much about this book other than it follows a girl who's deaf and it has to do with graffiti art. And then the last book that I got is Since You Asked by Maureen Gu. Maureen Gu is actually the author of I Believe in a Thing Called Love, which I read around the time that it came out last year and I loved it. And she has a new book that came out recently called The Way You Make Me Feel and I still need to pick that book up. I'm hoping to check it out at the library because I'm trying to save money on buying books but I didn't see that book at the library but I did see this book which is her debut novel. All that I'm picking up from the dust jacket is that it follows this 15 year old girl named Holly Kim and she is a copy editor for her high school's newspaper. And I believe the main character is also Korean American, so I definitely look forward to reading this book. What I really loved about the library that I went to is that it had a display for Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So there was a bunch of books on display written by Asian American authors, and I took some footage of that. There were a few of my favorites that were actually on display, which included I Believe in a Thing Called Love and also Outrun the Moon. Definitely check out those books if you're interested in reading more books written by Asian American authors. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to try to finish editing my April wrap-up and start editing a lot more of the vlog footage that I've had recently. It is now Saturday and it's 4.23 p.m. I got home from work about 25 minutes ago and I immediately put on my pajamas and laid in bed because I'm tired. I still need to finish painting this bookshelf over here, 
but I'm feeling really tired and I don't want to do anything but lay in bed. I didn't give an update last night because I didn't do any reading last night. However, I did start an audiobook yesterday that I didn't talk about. I started Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. I know that I mentioned earlier that I checked this book out from the library, an audiobook, and I'm actually on part three of nine, which is chapter nine. So I got through a good chunk of the audiobook yesterday. So basically Ramona Blue follows this girl named Ramona who has this old friend that she knew for a while when she was younger who moved away, but he recently came back to town. At the beginning of the book, Ramona does identify as being gay, but throughout the book, she starts questioning her sexual identity, so this book does deal with sexual fluidity. So as I was going home from work, I did start Leah on the offbeat, but I didn't get far into it. I read like eight pages and then I stopped because I just didn't feel like reading, but I'm definitely going to be picking this book up later tonight before I go to bed. So right now, I'm going to make myself get out of bed and continue painting my bookshelf because I'm tired of seeing these bookshelves in my room and having all my books on the floor. All right, so it's about 10 p.m. and I am mostly done with this shelf. As you can see, I still need to touch up the edges of the entire thing because the roller doesn't go all the way there. I definitely think I need to do like an extra coat on the background, but the actual like shelf right here I think is fine and I still need to remove the tape and paint this part on both sides. I'm going to take a break from painting my shelves and now it's time to read Leah on the Offbeat. So I'm currently on page 47 of Leah on the Offbeat and Leah said that she ships Inej and Nina which I don't ship but the fact that it's a Six of Crows reference makes me really happy and she also said that she ships Persebeth which I definitely ship. I just love seeing all the moments of Simon and his boyfriend and the reason why I'm saying boyfriend and not the name of the boyfriend is because it would be a spoiler for Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which if you have not read, please go read because it's a great book. Seeing them together makes me so happy and it's just so cute. And there's also Hamilton references, which is another amazing bonus. It is now Sunday and I woke up around 8.30 a.m. and it's now about 9.50 a.m. I had breakfast, I've watched a few booktube videos. I actually received a package yesterday and I didn't open it, so I'm going to open it now in the vlog. I got this big box in the mail from Source Books and I have no idea what's in it. I'm going to take these scissors and cut this part open. Let's, oh, okay. You reach it from the sides. And, oh wait, no, this is upside down. Let me flip it over. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I know what it is. It says two queens will rise, one of blood and one of light. Which queen are you? So, Oh my gosh, I've never received a package like this in the mail before and this is so exciting. So this entire package is for the book Fury Born by Claire Legrand and this is the first book in the Imperium trilogy. And this is a bookmark right here, it's so cool. I loved the gold foil right here. Ooh, okay, so there's like a step to open this, so that's exciting. Step one, open the confetti popper to reveal if you are a blood queen or a sun queen. So this is something that I want to do sitting down. So I'm going to switch cameras and set up a tripod so that I can open this package. All right, so I set up my tripod, I'm sitting down, and also I switched into a different shirt because I was originally wearing a shirt from a university and it said the name of my university and I wanted to try to hide that. So I switched into a different shirt. But let's get into the unboxing. So the first thing that I saw that I showed earlier in the vlog clip is this bookmark that said Fury Born on it. On the back of this bookmark is actually blurred by Lainey Taylor, Melissa Albert, Roshni Chakshi, and Sarah Rash. And then on the front it's blurred by Kandar Blake. Step one is to open the confetti popper to reveal if you are a blood queen or a sun queen. So let me find the confetti popper. My confetti popper I think is already open and in the package there's a bunch of squigglies. There are gold ones and red ones but there's a lot more red ones so does that mean I'm a blood queen? So unfortunately this is already open but the second step says its content will make known your role in a prophecy. And the third step says after you have popped the confetti popper, unseal the enclosed envelope for an explanation of your royal identity. I am a blood queen. It says, I know what you're thinking, but don't worry, you're not the villain here. You're ambitious and complex, your heart is bursting with dreams, and whatever you're feeling shows on your face. Some might call you selfish, and that's okay with you. Maybe you are a little selfish, but the world needs that passion of yours. You're going to change things for the better, and if people can't keep up with you, that's on them. 
So this is the little card right there. So yes, I am the Blood Queen. Another thing in the package is this notebook right here and it has a Furyborn sticker. And in it, there are actually cards, which is pretty cool. Seems that there are all these cards of characters in the book. And I know that the two main characters are Riel and Eliana. There's also a pin in here and it says, ask me if I'm a sun or blood queen. Also in the package, there are some candies. I know that these golden ones are Rolos and I used to love Rolos and I haven't had them in a while. Lastly in the package, there is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. This book is coming out May 22nd. I actually received an arc of it, but I haven't had the chance to read it. What I know about this book is that it follows two women who live in different centuries. The first one is named Riel and she accidentally exposes her ability to perform elemental magic. And there is this prophecy about a pair of queens, a queen of light and a queen of blood so Riel has to prove that she is the Sun Queen and in order to do that she has to go through these trials and if she doesn't succeed then she will be executed and then a thousand years after Riel we follow Eliana and she goes on a dangerous mission with a rebel captain to find her mother who has disappeared this book sounds so interesting thank you so much to Sourcebooks for sending me a finished copy of this along with everything else in the package I can't wait to read this book and to share my thoughts with you all Alright, so it is actually now Monday and I didn't get the chance to end the vlog last night because I had a late work shift and I didn't get home till like 11pm and I was just really exhausted. To just wrap up everything that I read during this past week, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the name of the book and then my star rating and then I'm going to save most of my thoughts for my May wrap up so stay tuned for that. The first book that I finished was American Panda by Gloria Chow. I would give that a 3.5 out of 5 stars and then I finished Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson and I would give this 4 out of 5 stars. And then last night I read up to page 250 of Leah on the Offbeat. I'm about two thirds through the book so I'm hoping to finish this book tonight. So far I think this book is a solid 4 out of 5 stars and I also made it to part 4 of 9 for Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy and I'm enjoying that as well. I can't really say what my star rating for that is yet because I'm still not very far into it. I am almost halfway done. So far I think it's like a 4 out of 5 stars but it's not like a solid 4 out of 5 stars yet. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and if you've read any of these books let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye!